Um, well, good morning. My name is Nikki Zoyner. I work at Wikimedia Germany. And I, uh, my job at Wikimedia Germany is to help all our program people, including people that work on um, GLAM uh, stuff, to um, work in partnerships and to find money for, for their projects. <coughs> I have a somewhat compromised voice by by cold, so if you can't hear me, I would encourage you to come closer, I'd be more cozy too. Um, so what I wanted to do today is a little bit different. Um, I have a lot of experience and I could talk forever about partnerships, and I, but I think we already heard some really great case studies. And I want to do something different with you today. Um, and this is sort of in the spirit of the Wikimedia movement, recognizing that probably all your combined wisdom about partnerships is larger than my wisdom about partnerships. So what I want to do today is, is actually start a conversation in this group. Is everybody okay with that? Yeah? No lecture today? No more lecturing? <laughs> okay. Which is good because I, I don't have the voice to lecture anyway. It's going to go in a second here. <laughs> um, so just real quick. I just said, who am I? Say who you, who you are, what organization you work for, and what brought you to a conversation about partnerships. You want to start, uh -huh. Natalie? Uh, yeah, so Antonella, I actually don't know the Media Ukraine, the Media Foundation, <laughs> and I'm interested in partnerships. I'm Pavlos from Greece, from Wikipedia Community School Association Greece, and I'm came here for the first time for in a C meeting or something yes. like that. First time. And you guys have great partnerships with schools. You were telling me yes, about that. Yes, my, uh, my our group has many uh, doing. It's doing a. Uh, um, uh, um, uh, sorry. Uh, it is uh, adults or even children to how to write in Wikipedia. How not only to just write articles, but how to communicate with other people in a in an environment like Wikipedia. How to gain some skills. To, under, to to respect the other the other uh, place of the other uh, the other opinion to know how to work together mm -hmm. uh, etc. I'm sorry Great. for my nervous. That's cool. Uh, from Wikimedia Poland, <coughs> we have quite a lot of cooperation about yes. that. My duty as a board member. Uh, among others, is uh, just to go work together with uh, uh, Marta to help them with her work. Mm -hmm. <coughs> this is Bashak from Wikimedia Turkey. Turkey? Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, before the brand, I, I was always uh, getting um, into uh, partnerships with education institutions, but I'm also interested in partnerships with Okay, great. My name is Robert. I'm from uh, the Austrian uh, chapter and uh, I'm here to forge closer relationships with uh, uh, Wikipedians from the neighboring countries. Awesome. Okay. I'm Franz from Wikimedia Netherlands, the president from the board. And I'm here because I think that partnerships is one of the key pillars of our uh, community. Hello. Oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. 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 I'm, I'm Ivers from uh, Latvia Wikipedia. I'm one of the members of that, this. And I came to hear listen about uh, education mostly yesterday. But today, I just. It's normal, she's done with him by accident. Do not regret it. Sorry. I'm Marcellus, I come from Greece, also from. Uh, and I'm here to uh, share, uh, to learn uh, from the experience of other people, so as uh, to implement them uh, maybe better in our country. Great. Thank you. I'm Tomas from Wikimedia Hungary. We had uh, several GLAM programs in the past, and we have few right, right now, and uh, I'm generally interested in this stuff. Mm -hmm. And I'm Martin from uh, Wikimedia of Latvia User Group, and I came, came here mostly to learn. Because we need to yet need to start a uh, long-lasting uh, partnership with an institution. We had some before, but these were not like followed up. Uh, so mm -hmm. I need okay. some more uh, experience to learn from. Great, you're in the right room, and you're going to walk yeah. out of here with lots of good ideas. Today. Uh -huh. And we all know Marta, 
Thank you, Martha, for already sharing what you've done. Whoops, <laughs> <laughs> this just went away. I'm here to get new ideas and learn more stuff. Great. <laughs> okay, thank you. And I introduce myself. Um, Wikimedia Germany works on all kinds of partnerships. As you know, we also um, have Wikidata, so we're increasing our partnerships around Wikidata, which is sort of a new area, new way of partnering. But we do have plan partnerships. We work with educational institutions. Um, and we also work uh, increasingly with institutions who are in science and research. Um, and also we um, have lots of um, partnerships in the policy field because, as you all know, Dimi uh, is working in Brussels, and um, so we're trying to create also some coalitions at the level of influencing policy. So, so there's a pretty big breadth of things that we do. So today, like I said, I wanted to channel our collective wisdom and um, start facilitating some peer-to-peer -peer consultations in this room. And I think it's, I'm glad we're a small group because because then it's more cozy and it becomes more effective, more conversation. Um, and then at the end, we're going to come back together and share our findings um, with the group, the big whole group. So I just want to get a, a quick impression on... <laughs> not yet, not yet. I'm asking questions. <laughs> quick impression on sort of where you're at with partnerships. So who in this room has worked with other Wikimedia affiliates on a specific project? Raise your hand. And who has worked with a non-Wikimedia partner on a specific project? <coughs> <laughs> um, and who has sought funding together with a partner? Okay, yeah, a little fewer. And sort of the next level of towards Nirvana, who works in an organization that actually has dedicated resources and a strategy around how do we work in partnerships? Be honest. <laughs> you don't see me raising okay. hand, right? <laughs> what, what, what does it precisely yeah. mean? Yeah. You know, yeah. So, for example, if we have uh, uh, um, money for devoted money in our chapter for GLAM cooperation and wage of the on the matter, does it mean we have yes. dedicated? Okay, so yeah. I <laughs> so you guys can yeah. yeah, that's what it, what I understand as as dedicated resources and staff person. It might be some money in the budget towards partnerships, and, um, and you know, even better would be a strategy, um, how, we, how we work, how do we, how do partnerships support the goals of our organization, that would be the strategy. Okay, well that gives us an, an idea of the knowledge in this room. So, um, we have, we have 12 people, so we could do three groups of four people. Um, which means I would like to find three case studies. So we need three people in this room who can think of a partnership where you could ha use some help from the other people, or otherwise people in this room, um, in terms of a consultation. Um, it could also be a partnership where you think it was really cool and really successful and you want to talk about it, kind of like Mark Martha did earlier today. Um, but it could also be a partnership where you think that nah, didn't go so well, or, or we actually had to abort it. <laughs> um, or it's something that you're in right now, <clears throat> and you, you could use some advice on how to proceed. Um, and the partnerships could be in the past, in the future, in the present. Um, all of that's okay. So um, just think for a minute. If you would like to be the consultant, the client in this situation, and then the other ones would be the consultants. Okay, so who's the, is there volunteers who would like to be the consultant person? We have a little case study of a partnership that went wrong, went great, went questionable. Okay. One. Okay, we need two more, please. <laughs> I think I have a case as well. You have a case? Yeah. Okay. Marta, you want to be the other one? Okay, so we have uh, uh, France, yeah. Marta, and Pavlos. 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 Okay. All right. Anybody 
who feels they would have liked to <laughs> to submit a case. You can you can also um, insert your your um, your questions into into the conversation and, and add to it later. Um, all right. So what I would like you to do next is. Um, Group around to those three people, so Pavlos, Franz, and Marta, and make maybe make little circles. Um, Marta, do you want to? We have the coffee machine. <laughs> and so each each um, each client gets three consultants. So go wherever you. <laughs> All right. So we're going to have each consulted person. Um, Report back. So, we'll, real quick, tell us the gist of the project, what your problem was, and what your cons what your consultation you received. All right. Well, it was an uh, old uh, project. It was completed about two years ago. The project's purpose was to write articles about museum and uh, a specific museum and its objects. There we had uh, two lessons and one editathon the following day. Um, the partners was uh, the museum and uh, another uh, private uh, company. And uh, the event took place on a university. They gave us the venue. Um, it was a project by... as a, a part of a bigger uh, project which, 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 was, which was a U U European Union founding. Um, uh, the persons that took uh, participate on this event were museum employees, uh, tutors, uh, curators, uh, and uh, friends of the museum. Um, the what things what worked well well um, we have uh, the number of the interest people was the expected the expected. And many people asked and learned things about Wikipedia, what Wikipedia is, how it works, what we should do, what we shouldn't do, etc. Now, what didn't work well? We didn't have uh, enough articles written. Uh, not good quality in on these articles. We had low retention and the Partners weren't uh, were not happy about the results because I think that they had higher expectations that we could uh, achieve. Now, um, uh, let's see. Now, am I going to uh, write about to talk about uh, talk about what your what your consultants All right. gave you? Well, <laughs> um, uh, now uh, some of the things that we should have done to involve the community earlier, to give services before the meeting to the people who were who, who took part on this uh, event. Give, give what to the people? Uh, services uh, before the meeting, more, uh, more, some uh, more books or how to find some uh, articles in, on the uh, internet, um, etc. Yeah. preparing advance to the, to the meeting. Mm -hmm. And uh, now, what could have been <coughs> done uh, differently? Uh, as uh, the consultants uh, told me, um, we, we should have more lessons for new users, and we had to exp to involve more experience, uh, a, a greater amount of experienced uh, users to write good articles and to help more people. Who were not, uh, who didn't know about Wikipedia two or three days uh, before. Um, uh, that's what we talked mm -hmm. about. Okay. Uh, Did you want to add anything that you had uh, in your consultation? Uh, when you are just talking and doing such short, uh, let's say, just two, 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 one day after another short meetings, usually produce very poor results with yes. newbies. And uh -huh. then our experience was that it's possible to do this, but you need to have the well-structured program with uh, regular meetings and for a time. amount of time, and then give them time to write, and then to get feedback, come back again, and write again. So then there is more hope to, to have them. And then I suggested to have a mailing list or another type of constant communication between meetings, so they could consult 
and they could write when they have time. <coughs> so they can write article and, uh, for yeah. example, in sandbox, then ask if it's good or wrong, yeah. and then get feedback and then, then publish this. So let me ask you, um, so we're talking a little bit here about the how we worked with the volunteers and, and, and sort of the, the set up and the in agenda of the actual project, right? In terms of the partnership, um, did, did you have any damage to the partners from, from the poor outcomes of the meeting? Or no, how did you deal because with that? after that we were, uh, we had many, much more time to fill the gaps as about the articles. So we had some articles by the, by the, by the curators and some others by, I, I, was, um, I wrote some articles on my own. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, know, I know one, one project when uh, the idea was to write uh, articles uh, about uh, scientists from uh, one university and it was a university project and they had the idea to make it really big, I mean to involve all staff to write these articles mm -hmm. and then it was one guy employed by the museum to live by university to do this as a part of, the, of his normal work and it ended up in such he, he uh, organized and I helped him several uh, <coughs> teaching lessons about editing Wikipedia the results was zero, I mean no one was writing and then in order to, to make this uh, project successful he just sit and, and wrote all this <laughs> 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 I think we, we had I, I, I wanted to give an advice but uh, mainly touched already but that, that at the very beginning we have to make very clear that what is the how the Wikimedia movement works and what can be the expectation mm -hmm. so it, it, we, it, at the beginning we make it clear that what is our what are our resources uh, how many from, from, from money side, from staff side, from volunteer side, what can we expect from the project and how the Wikimedia movement works, then there will be no surprise at the end. Yeah. Well, what do you think? So, and, and, and I generally, I'm, we will try to be more pessimistic because if it's better, <laughs> at the end, everybody is more happy if it's better than expected. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so you told that you uh, you had a success in uh, teaching uh, these people uh, in the understanding uh, how Wikipedia works. But uh, what will he, what do you think? Uh, skip, skipping teaching that part entirely and uh, start with editing uh, in the first context, showing how it works. So maybe that would help with your attention, and you can fill the knowledge gaps about how it works uh, well, in the big picture later. We had to tell them some things about what it would be the eyes and how it works, in order to avoid conflicts with older users. Yeah. They will see, for uh, in, in, in uh, at a glance, new articles by newbies, uh, bad written as for Wikipedia standards, and then we will, we will have it in the conflict. Why, the, why is that? Why uh, this is the, the, we don't uh, do this, we don't do that? And some of our experienced users in Greece are very harsh to renew this. Yeah, so, this is, so one, one of our ideas was even to expose new this at the very beginning to this, to tell them that let's write something and see what happens. And then yeah. <laughs> after a few minutes, for example, the terribly written article is delighted, but it was, we, we told them that it might happen, oh, it's delighted, you see, you, you have to write. You have to deal with that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Okay, but I yeah, but on what, what Thomas was just saying, but also on the other hand, if um, people are at the workshop are uh, trying quite hard and actually writing a basic article that is okay, uh, then, then we always kind of tell them to, to write in uh, the edit description. They, I'm at a glam workshop, I'm a newbie, please be gentle with me. And actually, I think editors look at it and say, oh, they are running this, this glam or education mm -hmm. event. Mm -hmm. This, there, there, there are new people and they are slightly more tolerant than perhaps normally. Yeah, okay, those are all great ideas. So this, I, I, the whole complex here is how do we get newbies into Wikipedia, not, um, not have them be disappointed when, when the outcome isn't as, as they expected. So the idea is here to create low expectations, create low barriers, and then also involve the existing community and, and sort of introduce the newbies as we're sorry if we're not perfect yet, but please bear with us. 
Um, you got one more thing, and then I would like to move to the next. I just quickly that I, I think it's it's an interesting observation that for the Wikimedia movement, time doesn't matter. Uh, we, we 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 think in 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 one hundred times or an infinite long long time frame that we will make the world perfect, but but the institutions maybe except, except that after three months we have. We want this result, and uh, and uh, mm -hmm. and and this mm -hmm. can cause conflict, mm -hmm. and it is something which yeah. which because in the long term probably we we will receive the result. But and, and you mentioned that that at the end it wasn't very negative because um, on, after longer time the community solved the problem. Yeah, but yeah. Uh, I, I I had quite quite con contrary that uh, sometimes if uh, young people tend to be really, uh, they want to be really perfect when they write articles and it takes them incredibly long, long time in comparison to what, what really young yeah, social do. So. <laughs> okay, so that was Pablo's, that correct? Yeah, that's what's correct. <laughs> Pablo's project. I will, um, I'll transcribe these sort of um, conclusions into the presentation and we'll upload that so you don't have to write along. Um, who wants to present on the next case? Um, Franz, do you want to? Oh, she's going to be okay. <laughs> Um, we were consulted about an ongoing project. It is called Netherlands in the World. Um, they have already tested it and get some results, but uh, they want to uh, scale it up. Uh, the, it's about, um, you know, Netherlands is known as a colonial nation and a trading nation. Uh, and in the archives and museums, there are lots of um, uh, documents about not, uh, countries like uh, Asia, Africa, Japan, Chinese, Indonesia. Uh, and so Wikimedia Netherlands, uh, since th these are only open to only Dutch people at the, uh, uh, now, uh, Wikimedia Netherlands developed a tool uh, so that uh, Wikimedians from other nations could request uh, documentation from other uh, those institutions, and they had partnership with National Archive and the World Museum Association, uh, and they have already received about 20 requests. Uh, they want to uh, increase uh, this number; it can scale up to hundreds. Uh, <coughs> they had uh, no problem in finding partners and funding. Uh, but they had problem in reaching to international Wikimedia community about this, and they had consulted us about it. And we advised them to, uh, cont instead of trying to reach Wikimedia groups, uh, first try to reach uh, largest club institutions in those countries, or try to uh, and go to the Wikim Wikimedians through those institutions. Uh, and what could have they been done differently? Or could be making the search in advance about the Wikimedia communities uh, so that they would uh, it would work better. And for the future, we advise them to uh, yes, contacting to more glam institutions in those uh, target countries and uh, promoting the project in international Wikimedia events and. Uh, we advise them to first focus on one country, for example, India, uh, and after getting a success about it, uh, it could get, uh, go by, by man, uh, one by one. <laughs> so that was really fast. Okay. Um, um, so so uh, uh, like promoting the country. projects in international. Huh. Mm -hmm. Okay, first first focus on one country. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And they could promote the project in international Wikimedia events. That's a great, that's a great piece of advice. Okay. Nikki, I think you missed the because uh, she went a bit very fast. Yeah, I think you missed the second point. Uh, like a little bit about uh, uh, doing more research in advance. Yes. Okay. So kind of, kind of uh, market research, how yeah. to say, for the project. Very good yeah. point. And what would you have to do to, to do that, to, to do more market research in this particular mm -hmm. case? Maybe some advice from the foundation, mm -hmm. but groups. Uh, um, 
we, I made two proposals. Firstly, we had this large uh, gathering in Vienna where participants came from India and from Sri Lanka too, two countries uh, which have a Dutch colonial past. Mm -hmm. And I will provide him the addresses and the contacts mm -hmm. so uh, some of these Indian and Sri Lankan Wikipedians are surely interested in history or have given a background in history. So he can uh, make direct contacts with them. And uh, secondly, uh, to um, address directly the largest blind institutions, that is in, uh, in India, the Lapi Museum in Trivandrum, uh, the capital of Kerala, now it is Kerala. Uh, which uh, has a large library, including Dutch-related uh, material, mm -hmm. uh, what is interested, interesting for him. So uh, it's easy to establish nowadays those relationships uh, via Wikipedians and via these planning institutions. It's not that difficult. Mm -hmm. But you must know the people and, and have the contact. Yes, so, so that's it. So they must come to see meetings. Mm -hmm. They must come to see meetings and meet you and others. Yes, not necessarily, but yeah. it's advisable. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there's one more problem that I didn't mention because it's a little bit internal. Mm -hmm. uh, we got most of our funding from the FBC, and of course we have to present our metrics. <laughs> yes. So this project and our metrics doesn't match in this case. Because the articles are written in the Sri Lanka language, or in the Swahili language, no, not in the Swahili language, but in the other, in the other countries. There are, of course, always, there are also Dutch Wikipedians involved that find it interesting. So there are results on the Dutch Wikipedia, Wikipedia as well, and we present those metrics, of course, in our annual report. But, uh, yeah, all the other results are not shown in, uh, we, 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 we tell about them in wordings, but not in, not in statistics. Mm -hmm. But uh, again, that's so some more. This is a case of changing your metrics and teaching the FTC that <laughs> yes. the national collaborative yes. projects. Yes. Yes. yes, thank you for this advice. <laughs> <laughs> we'll try, we'll try to do that. <laughs> so the, the problem is a language problem too, because uh, Dutch as a language is a less used language yeah. nowadays. And the material, I know, I know about, because as an historian, mm -hmm. about lots and lots of material which is available about the Dutch colonial past in these countries. Mm -hmm in English, in French, even in German, uh, from uh, people who witnessed it, who were eyewitnesses of <coughs> Dutch colonial rule, who wrote their reports, but not in Dutch, you know, so it's not translated uh, into Dutch. And uh, the, lo the locals, the so-called uh, indigenous people, who had to suffer from Dutch colonial, or well, benefited from it, from it too, uh, they... Uh, we are almost, uh, we are out of time. In fact. Okay, okay. okay. alright. So, so then there is still question, so... Let's go, let's get to the last project real quick, and then I have a few more words to say before you all run Actually, out. Actually, I think we did it all wrong, so maybe... <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not the consultative person, but uh, the right. part of the consultative team, and uh, I will talk. Talk about you about the, one of the projects of the Polish Wikimedia chapter, which was uh, which was uh, 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 partly uh, already closed because they had two projects in the past, and uh, now it's ongoing pro projects come next phase, and uh, and the project was with the National Museum in Warsaw, um, and the purpose of the project was have the museum in uploading act activity, so they have. They wanted to upload uh, a lot of pictures, and uh, and uh, from the other side, the uh, volunteer community wrote articles about uh, these topics, and then they could, could present the these articles uh, uh, in, in in the hall. Um, the museum funded uh, uh, the Wik uh, Wikipedia in residence for the, for this project, and uh, several volunteers from the other from the other side, and uh, the Wikimedia. Uh, Side funded the conference after the project. Um, it worked very well. The the, the cooperation itself and uh, both parties felt very uh, responsive and motivated. So so the, the the cooperation itself worked very well. But doesn't work that 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 we, some volunteers didn't uh, fulfill the the promised. Uh, Result that at the beginning they they, they, they uh, committed for the project and uh, and uh, and uh, this was one problem which which showed up during the project 
And the main question that was that what should we change next time to avoid this problem? Uh, because there will be a next phase. And uh, there, the, the ideas was were that that uh, one is that we that can be more round, so volunteer can can uh, can take the other volunteers' job, which they the, the one volunteer didn't do one work, then maybe another one would happily or. Uh, <coughs> Do and uh, and another other idea was that that we maybe find the, the best way of motivation of volunteers. So how how can they 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 be more motivated or feel more part of the project? Something like that. And uh, and the question is how could we the uh, how could have been done differently? Um, the answer was that that. Uh, they will think about the volunteer motivation and how can they implement it in the next phase. And uh, the, that should be done next. So as I mentioned, there will be a next phase of the project with uh, two more partners. So it will be an inter cooperation. And, uh, and uh, it will be similar as last time, but they, they try to refine the, 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 the next phase based on the first experience, the mm -hmm. past experiences. And uh, basically, they try to make it even better. Yeah. All right. Uh, what, what was I? What I found, for? like your advice for me, that the best advice was to think about volunteer motivation during play. <coughs> so, because <coughs> for us, quite large, and we are thinking about uh, the, the schedules and about how many volunteers, we about this and that and the other thing and uploads and all that, make uh, volunteer motivation something to consider while planning the entire thing. Mm -hmm. Make it a big item in the in the plan. So so thanks for, for that thing. Yeah. Other voices on this topic? Okay. I think this this um, the whole volunteer versus a, a third party um, is something that we we experience a lot too, that partners come to us and say, hey, don't you have all these volunteers, can't you do this and this and this? <laughs> and we have to really clearly manage expectations right in the beginning and say, volunteers are volunteers. If we don't control these people, we have to create a motivating environment for them and then maybe they'll, they'll work with them. But it's, and and that's, yeah, that's one of the key things, I think, in the beginning of collaborations with new partners, whether it's a lab institution or an educational institution, is to ha really help them understand that we don't, we don't own our volunteers. We don't like send them out like an army of puppets. You know, <laughs> it's, they're like their own force. I, 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 I would need, like to make a short announcement or uh, yes. advertisement. The next session will be about volunteer motivation and uh, and uh, okay. the okay. sound also. And awesome. the, and, uh, don't don't go anywhere. Yes, another <laughs> thing we have to uh, uh, if, uh, uh, leave the rooms in this hotel uh, before 12 a.m. So then you have to pack your stuff, go down down okay. and uh, give uh, give give keys. So, Just so. give me like 30 seconds to make an announcement as well. Um, <laughs> and then, thank, so first of all, thank you for, for this, this session. I already learned a lot again, and um, we learned from each other, I hope. Um, Wikimedia Germany is hosting a meeting on partnerships, um, which is sort of a part of a series of meetings. We usually, people work in partnerships meet at Wikimedia and at a Wikimedia conference, and we, we try to host a third meeting. Um, and we're, we're doing stuff like we did today, like sharing, peer learning, um, the lightning talks, um, we actually start, kickstart actual collaborative projects among chapters, among affiliates, and we also do a little bit of meta discussion. Um, in this case, it will be um, what does the strategic direction mean for how we work with partnerships? Yeah. Because partnerships are big, big emphasis in the, in the strategic direction, and so what does that mean for us? How do we work in the future? How do we work together across chapters, and how do we work with externals? So here's an invitation for who's interested. Um, this, this meeting is going to be at the end of November in Berlin. And um, we'd love to have any of you who haven't signed up yet join you or somebody from your organization. And here are my cards. Um, and there's also a 
uh, a meta page, of course, as there is on everything, <laughs> um, that has lots of resources. Somebody was asking about MOUs earlier, stuff like that's on their tools, the 25 questions to ask before you partner with somebody, stuff like that. There's really, and you can add to it as well, obviously. Um, so those two things, the meta page and the meeting up in uh, November, please, um, please join. All right, thank you.